The third eye, also known as the pineal gland, is the gateway to deeper spiritual connection and heightened intuition. The word pineal comes from the Latin word pinea, which means pine cone. The pineal gland is approximately the size of a pea, shaped similar to a pine cone, and located directly in the midline of the brain. This small endocrine gland helps produce the hormones necessary to manage your waking and sleeping patterns, namely melatonin. Its major function is to regulate the body's internal clock. The pineal gland is referred to as the third eye because it is quite literally a third eye you have within your brain. It contains light-sensitive nerve endings, non-visual photoreceptors which react to light, a cornea, and a retina. For centuries, mystics have considered this third eye to be connected to deeper intuition and clarity as a lens that can see beyond physical reality, and its significance appears in every ancient culture throughout the world. It is said that when the third eye is closed, an individual might experience overthinking, lack of purpose, pessimism, and an inability to connect deeply with the higher self. To have the third eye open means to have the ability to move beyond the five senses and tap into otherworldly information that might otherwise be hidden. The body interprets the physical experience, whereas the third eye can be used to tune into other planes of existence with more information resources, and deeper intuitive insights. We all have intuition and can exercise that muscle in order to use it in a more practiced way. According to the National Library of Medicine, a government website, in an article they published outlining a study to measure future unknown events, they state, Intuition in this context is considered as a process by which information normally outside the range of conscious awareness is detected at the cellular level by the heart, the brain, and the autonomic nervous system. This study extends the findings of previous experiments demonstrating that aspects of our physiology can respond to an emotionally engaging stimulus before it's actually experienced. During this experiment, data was collected based on intuitive responses. The article states, although not yet well understood, Intuition is a familiar facet of experience that can be a powerful transforming mediator that can inform and potentially redirect the path of an individual's life. Intuitive perception is commonly acknowledged to play an important role in business decisions and entrepreneurship, learning, creativity, medical diagnosis, healing, spiritual growth, and overall well-being. And the article goes further to read, we believe that intuitive perception involves the heart, brain, and nervous system's connection to a field of information beyond normal conscious awareness, and that it has been suggested that the capacity to receive and process information about non-local events appears to be a property of all physical and biological organization and is likely due to the inherent interconnectedness of everything in the universe. I will leave a link to the full article in the description of this video if you would like to read it in full. Often referred to as the seat of the soul, where the mind, body, and spirit meet, the third eye has great transformational properties. Through opening the third eye, we have the ability to connect with our extrasensory perceptions and the enrichment those perceptions can offer us in our physical lives. It's also been said that the illusion of the separation between the self and the spirit melts away when the third eye is consciously connected to, developed, and refined, allowing us to do such things as astral project, jump realities, and become lucid during our dreams. So why might your third eye be closed if this is one of your natural gifts? There are many theories about this, and you might have heard such terminology as decalcify your pineal gland, or why your pineal gland might be atrophied, or open your third eye. It is possible that the third eye is designed to open naturally when the conditions are appropriate for an individual. However, in modern times, these conditions rarely arise spontaneously. This happens for the same reasons that our subconscious programs can block us from manifesting if we don't address those, and the two are intimately linked. From an early age, most all of us are conditioned to think and behave in specific ways, and often taught a myriad of rules that have the ability to pinch us off from our inner voice in our inner wisdom. The following simple ancient technique will change this by activating your pineal gland. 
However, pineal gland activation shouldn't be taken lightly. This is a powerful exercise that can produce intense experiences for some individuals. Some traditions caution against esoteric methods of altering your consciousness, and it's advisable to exercise caution and care on this journey. If you feel as though you need to do more research about this prior to engaging in this practice, I recommend stopping this video and doing so now. Although I do recommend using this technique at your own discretion, I will give another exercise to close your third eye as well in the event you find discomfort with this process. Sit in a comfortable and relaxed position. Close your eyes and allow your breath to become deep and slow. Don't force your breath, just observe it. Through detached observation, your breathing will naturally begin to slow down. Once your breathing has slowed in a rhythmic way, rest your attention on the third eye region just above and between your two eyes. And then imagine you are breathing in a golden white light through your third eye center. As you do this, a key component in being successful is remaining relaxed and avoiding trying to force this to work. Let go of any expectations that might cause tension and block the flow of energy. You can do this for several minutes per day to exercise your third eye muscle. Although quite simple, this meditative practice is effective because when you place your attention on your third eye in this way, you are focusing your internal energy to this area. This type of relaxed focus releases neuropeptides and nitric oxide, which trigger the relaxation response. In doing so, these chemical signals allow you to move into deeper meditation while stimulating the third eye region. As previously mentioned, Melatonin is the main chemical produced and circulated by the pineal gland. Researchers at Taiwan University found through the use of MRI scans that meditation does trigger pineal gland activation. And not surprisingly, in the brains of focused meditators, they find an increase in melatonin secretion. Here's what you can expect during or after performing this process. You'll feel a slight pressure, tingling sensation, or pulsating sensation in the center of your forehead. And it can sometimes feel as though there's a mini heart beating in your forehead. This is a positive indication the third eye is awakening and that the pineal gland is beginning to function in a healthy manner. You may hear sounds coming from within your head that produce light cracking or popping sensations. If you begin to see colors of blue, purple, white, and or intense white colored dots, it's highly likely that you've opened your third eye. When you close your eyes just before you go to sleep, you may see various new images in your mind. Sometimes these mental images are vivid and sometimes they're blurred. After this process, such images are often thought to be the lens of your pineal gland picking up on different dimensions. When you're vibrating in a higher frequency, you may also be picking up on higher vibrations. You may also experience any or all of these things to varying degrees. Faster and or easier learning and retention, a marked increase in intuition, extreme flashes of insight, increased creativity, psychic development of intuitive gifts that become stronger, such as psychic vision or psychic hearing, a more developed ability to see or sense human auras, more overall clarity, a heightened sense of empathy, and the ability to make decisions quickly and effectively. As with all powerful practices, your body may go through some slight discomfort in order to adapt to these qualities that align with higher potential. But not everyone will experience discomfort, and many do not. 
If you do find the experience of opening your third eye to be one that you no longer prefer, you can close it again. The best and easiest way to do this is by visualizing an invisible eyelid in the middle of your forehead. Then put your finger on the invisible eyelid and softly pull down the eyelid of your third eye to close it. As simple as this sounds, it's quite effective. When opening your third eye, it's advisable that you do so with the intent of evolving and creating a deeper connection to your spiritual self. This is a process to be completed with respect, care, and sacredness as you are summoning a deeper part of you to come forth into your physical existence. As your third eye opens and activates, you begin to perceive your reality differently. You might even wake up to many new realities that were unavailable to you before. If this process has not already begun for you and you feel the calling, the door to that possibility is open for you now.